Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So in this YouTube video, we're actually going to be doing something regarding network, which is kind of surprising just because there's really not that much network stuff that you could do within Windows that actually helps. So what are we doing in this video? So in this video, we're going to be doing DSCP, which is going to be a, a policy for quality of service within Windows, where basically it lets Windows prioritize a packet of an application. So what does this mean? Dumbing it down to just basic terms so basically we're going to make a policy within windows that whenever a specific exe or game program opens up it's going to prioritize that for sending packets for your internet so packets are basically just information packaged up into a packet and it gets sent either through download or through upload you either download packets or you either upload packets i explained this in my exit lag video so if you want an in-depth explanation of packets and all that go watch that if you want to use exit lag or you're thinking about using exit lag go watch that video before this one just because i mentioned a lot of things on packets and i mentioned use cases for exit lag and what exit lag does and how it works but i digress let's get started on this so basically for some of you you might not be able to do this if you have a certain component stripped out of windows and to basically check if you have a certain component stripped out of windows we're going to basically press our start menu we're going to click the gear icon on the bottom left it's going to open up our settings we're going to go to network and internet and we're going to click change adapter option options and then we're going to double click ethernet or whatever we're connected to we're going to click properties and we need to make sure qos packet scheduler is checked right here if you don't have this then unfortunately you can't do this but make sure this is checked if you have this you might have it unchecked just make sure you have that checked along with ipv4 everything else in here you can basically uncheck so make sure after that's checked we're just going to click ok click close close out of these and what we're going to open is we're going to open up our gp edit so gp edit is going to only work if you are on windows 10 pro so if you're not on windows 10 pro you're going to have to run a tool to basically get gp edit which i'll show you here in a second how to do that but if you already have gp edit and to check if you have gp edit you just want to type gp edit whenever you open up your start menu and if this pops up that means you have it if this doesn't pop up that means you're on windows 10 home and you need like a special trick in order to enable it so i'm on windows 10 pro so i already have it but i'm going to show you guys how to get it if you're on windows 10 home all right guys so go over to the description of this video and you're going to find two commands for windows 10 home or windows 11 home users so we're going to copy these two commands and basically we're going to press our start menu type cmd make sure you click run as an administrator right here and then we're going to press Control v right after we copied it's going to start installing basically gp edit so make sure you press enter on the second one just so it does it and as you can see it basically installs installed gp edit for us i'm already on windows 10 pro so there's no need to do this but if you're on windows 10 home or windows 11 home you need to do this in order to have gp edit so once you've done this restart your pc and then once you type gp edit down here it should pop up or if this doesn't pop up right here press windows key and r type gtp edit msc down here and it should open up but without further ado let's get basically right into what we're actually going to do with this tool right here so very simple we're going to expand windows settings right here and we're going to basically go to policy based QOS right here and expand this right click on it and we're going to click create new policy and policy name you can name this honestly whatever just make sure you name it something that is regarding your game or whatever game you're trying to set it to so for example this could be like Fortnite or it could be Valorant or it could be Apex or it could be COD MW2 stuff like that you get the idea but for me I'm just going to do COD and set to that make sure specify DSCP value is checked and type 46 all right, I'm going to make sure you type 46. Do not get this wrong. The name doesn't matter, but this matters right here, 46. And then make sure it looks like this. Press next. And then we're going to basically click only applications with this executable name. So for example, it could be like Valorant win 64 shipping.exe so what does this mean so this means it will windows will look for this specific exe name whenever it's running and if it's running it will prioritize the packets of that exe so again make sure you do this right all right so i'm going to be showing you guys how to actually do this right so launch your game it could be whatever your game you're launching it could be fortnite call of duty apex whatever game right and then for example i'm going to do do it for google chrome just because i don't have a game of 
install right now on this OS just because it's the new OS. I'm going to right click on taskbar, click task manager. I'm going to find whatever game I have open. So for me, let's just say Google Chrome is going to be the game, for example. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to expand it first. Find the actual game exe down here because your game might have a whole bunch of these, but find like the actual game. For Fortnite, it's going to be like Fortnite 164 shipping. For COD, it's probably just mw2.exe or something like that. So, you know, right click on it, click open file location. It's going to open up right here. And then as you can see, you just type this name right here. So for example, for me, it says chrome.exe. So I type that chrome.exe. But for you, it's going to be different depending on what game you play. So for example, Fortnite, it's going to be like 164 shipping.exe, some, something like this, right? So make sure you type the exe correctly. If you don't, this is not going to work. So make sure you type it correctly. You can look through your game files and figure out which exe is running. But the easiest way is to launch your game, open up task manager, find it in here, right click on it, click open file location. And yeah, just type the exe name in here and then press next. All right, so once you've typed your exe name, you just press next and it will bring you to this screen. You don't have to do anything here. You just press next again. And here we're going to select this protocol that the QoS policy applies to. Make sure this is set to TCP and UDP. Make sure it's set to that. And then that's pretty much everything for that. You can just press finish. And as you can see, it will work for this. So it will say the policy name right here. And you could do this for multiple games that you have on your system. So all you do is just right click on here again, create new policy. And then for example, I'm going to do Valorant. And then again, 46 right here. You want to make sure you type 46 right there. Press next. And then only applications with this executable name. And then we're going to do Valorant 164 shipping exe. Press next. Press next again. Select the protocol this QoS policy applies to TCP and UDP. Make sure you select that. Press finish. And as you can see, I have Call of Duty and Valorant in here. So you can do this for Fortnite. You can do this for Apex. You can do this for any game that you want Windows to prioritize the packets for the internet. But once you've done all that, restart your PC, boot in game. So this is really helpful. This might alleviate some issues that some people have in game that they don't have it in any other game. So depending on the game, they might feel a difference depending on the game. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you like this, comment down below the difference between this and nothing. And if you want more things like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Watch my older videos. A lot of it are helpful. And if you want a full PC optimization service, where I do way more things than this and that actually help your input lag, help your system latency, literally to the point where you feel it just moving your mouse or typing in your keyboard and desktop doing daily things like typing in YouTube or using Google, you literally feel a difference just there as well, just because of how lower your system latency is going to be after the optimization. So book that down below, zilli.as.me. And if you want a completely, completely custom PC built for you, optimized for you, tested for you, and everything done for you, and then shipped to your house, visit the second link right under my booking website to order a PC straight from me where I build it for you and do all of that sorts and ship it right to you. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.